someone follow you around a store simply because you are of a, a specific color and you see five other people in the store that may not look like you and nobody's following them, you know, and then so they, they may not they may not even be aware. The person that you I know that a lot of times I'm with colleagues and I hear something and in my brain I say, I process it and go, that sounded a little off kilter to me. But no one else, you know, took it that way. Why? Because I'm a lot more sensitive to things. I'm I'm a lot more sensitive to uh, 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 scenarios that are impacting me. You know, my daughter was a preemie. You could cool believe that anything that I heard about preemie children, including the March of Dimes and any of that, that I give to uh, passionately, um, yeah. that, that those are things that, are, that I'm, I'm gonna pay attention to. You don't notice the color car that you drive until you get a new car and every car you see now is the color that you have. Right. You know, we pay attention to those things that come directly into our scope and our, and our circle of influence. So what are you, um, what have you got going right now? Like, um, as far as I'm, ass I'm assuming that you are working on something in the community oh, that has sure. to do with bringing these different groups together Absolutely. to have a conversation. And, and and actually, I'm glad to have the platform to talk about it. You know, I, I truly feel that I've been blessed to have been afforded opportunities to be a part of, of organizations and, and um, committees and things that are trying to move forward. It speaks to, to me, for me, the passion that I have for community engagement. And so I do sit on several different boards. Um, say this morning, I was on um, a, a, a committee meeting with Lakeland Vision. And Lakeland Vision is doing some uh, awesome, amazing uh, 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 initiatives to try to bring information about what's happening in the Lakeland community. Same as Polk Vision. I'm not on that committee, but I know that's another organization. I can name many of them, the Central Florida Business Diversity Council, the NAACP, the Rotary Club, the Kiwanis Club. There are many organizations that are trying to you know do what they can with the resources that they have to move this forward my project with the uh, with the city redevelopment agency the well even though it's in the process of being developed and has not begun construction which is on the way by the way that's a very shameless plug wow. but the concept of the well is your business and culture connection is bringing information and providing a platform for people and organizations, particularly those that are underserved and underrepresented, can find a way forward to collaborate. The chamber, the you know, the Lakeland Chamber, there are so many different organizations, and I do speak positively, and I sit on some of those committees, and what is happening is, is just what we're doing. Opening up the dialogue, you know, being, being brave enough to step into the arena and say, you know what, I don't understand everything. But what I do understand is that something needs to be done. I may not have all the answers for what needs to be done, but if I say nothing, then I'm a part of the problem. You know, silence sometimes breeds consent. And if we don't speak up and we don't speak out, you know, the, the, the uh, protest that happened in Munn Park last Saturday, last Sunday, and there is one coming up this Sunday, the protest that happened last week, you know, it was important for me to be there because I'm a part of this community. You know, my business is located in Midtown, one of the largest and most blighted communities in Lakeland. And I know many people who have businesses in downtown and in Dixieland. And I know many people that are small business owners or startups or mom and pop organizations. And it's not that people don't want to help, is they don't know what to do or they don't have the resources that will enable them to help in ways that are meaningful and relevant. And so I think that having a city, which I do believe our, our local city government, um, our mayor, our city commissioners, our you know, city leadership in many different areas are open. And that's actually kind of um, pretty big for Polk County because when I moved here from the Washington DC area, I will not, be ashamed to tell you I experienced culture shock. I was not very, very familiar with there being so many restrictions and so many underlying subtleties of, of racism and discrimination. But I will tell you what you can't do is sit back and, and complain about it and do nothing. 
or, you know, not want to get involved because, you know, people know what they're doing. Well, you know what? That is not going to move the, the, the yeah. um, mission forward. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I mean, when you, um, if you're just complaining about it, you're right. actually part of the problem. Part of the problem. Absolutely. Because you're not solving anything. It's like you're, you're, this toxic stuff is coming out of your mouth of complaint, complaint, complaint. And, you know, and that only just festers it. You know, it now does. you, now you um, spread that infection to everybody who heard you. That's and right. you've done That's zero right. That's right. to make a difference. And you know what it says, a little bit of leaven, you know, a little, a little bit of leaven leavens the whole loaf, you know, a little, uh, uh, one bad apple, you know, can spoil the entire group. And so I'm not saying that we should be overly, you know, and that's what I like about you and I, we can have conversations and I can, I can be authentic and, and I know you're not going to say, oh, Sally just always said, you know, the thing of it is, is that there has to be a platform where people can feel safe and be able to express themselves without fear of retribution you yes. know and the good thing for me is that as a business owner or as as someone who is not you know in a in a in a um uh position where i where i own my business that i do have a little bit more freedom but with freedom comes responsibility which means i can't just simply mouth off and say oh da, 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 da. you know what as a journalist as a as my first career as a journalist gather the facts don't believe everything someone says. Do your research and find out what's going on and get involved so that you can add to the conversation and not be the topic of the conversation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, um, I, I guess the thing that's kind of uh, coming up for me is that it's important to just to have people that you can trust that are that are in the different um, areas, the different diverse areas of community and stuff like that. People that you can say you can you can um, you know how do I know that a certain term is offensive to you if That's I right. if I can't share with you without you getting upset that I said yep. it. I'm That's like, right. I heard someone I say know. that. Um, saying all lives matter or this life matters is tantamount to saying um some of my my best friends are black you uh know? it you know it, it it i've never i've never heard you say and i and i have heard people use that term but in the black community that means that you're trying to justify your lack of of relationships with people of color you know some of my best friends are black that doesn't go over well so if 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 I don't tell you that you won't you won't know it, but everyone you say it to, you know, it's like they're gonna go, oh, okay, you know. So there are keywords, there is conversation, there is communication that must be had, but we all must come to the place. You know, there are many different words that it, that that um create a negative connotation. Can you can you say that about everything? Absolutely not. But you also have to be be open to the fact that children do not only do what they've been taught. That's right. You know, they only and do I, what they they've been taught. And if there was a, I mean, I can remember as a child certain things that were said that now, when I as an adult and I, you know, learned, I'm just, I'm like, oh my god, that was just yeah. that was so yeah. racist. I well, when you when you know to do better, you should do better. I mean, in my 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 house coming up. We couldn't even say lie. We had to say you telling a story. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, it's just you know, some things you didn't do. This was interesting, and it goes back to you've got to get that maybe people just are not they're they're unaware. Like I remember years ago when I was going through um, my custody battle, still or at least you know it was very fresh. Um, and on Mother's Day, I'm sitting there in the pew at the church pew and the preacher decides to use the topic use mother's day as an opportunity to give uh, the congregation a list of all of the detrimental uh statistics what? the child has of an absentee father wow and i'm just like you have no idea oh wow. my god that was triggering to me because i'm like what about the positive things Right, the child gains right. from having a mother in their life. That's on right. Mother's Day, like say that's that right. Mother's Day sermon, you know. 
I uh, think that there's, you know, there's a season and there's a time and place for everything. And while we are in a place where, you know, there, there is a need for, for anger to be expressed. I mean, even Jesus Christ and in the Bible, it says, you know, um, you know, be angry, but sin not. You know, no one's saying that you can't be angry or you shouldn't be angry. Um, but there is a way to move forward and, and, and so that we can have a positive outcome. You know, yeah. you can move forward and have a negative outcome. But what is it that we really want? What is the deliverable? The deliverable is that we all be treated with the same, you know, uh, inalienable rights that everyone is, has been, uh, deserves to have. You know, the equality for all and that we all can live in a place of, of peace without, you know, growing up in the South in North Carolina, you know, I don't know if you remember, but I remember being able to leave the window up at night and smell the, you know, the jasmine in the backyard. I remember that it wasn't a almost, it's, it's now if you leave a door unlocked or you leave the garage open, it, it creates a fear that, hey, you know, we're not safe. We are not in a safe place right now. Physically, yeah. mentally, spiritually, financially. And the only thing that can bring safety is knowledge and information so that you can, can do better, you know? That's right. And, you know, having open dialogue, open That's conversation. Right. Um, you know, I'm a talker. People, you know, I'm, I am a talker. And sometimes you got to give me the countdown. Okay, Sally, you know, and let someone else in. And there are some people that are not out talkative, you know, but they may be really good at, at, at writing or they may be really good at organizing. So you've got to give people the opportunity to contribute in ways that are meaningful for them. You can't make everybody a speaker. Everybody's not intended to be on a platform speaking out. You know, some people are better at behind the scenes. So let everyone bring their own authentic gift to the table and use that and you get better results. That's right. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. And what I was noticing when I was doing this recording, I, uh, that, that the first part may have gotten bumped off of Facebook. So mm -hmm. I pushed the record button and just let us continue to, to talk. So I'm, I'm sure that whatever got recorded and gets put on Facebook is um, meant for whoever. Absolutely, it, so. absolutely, I agree. And I appreciate you for, you know, stepping forward and, 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 you know, being willing to open up your platform to have this kind of discourse and this kind of conversation is so necessary. It's so important. You know, we say a lot of things and we talked about communication, which is my love language, but you know what? Actions speak. It's yeah. what you do. You know, it's not just what you say, but you've got to back up what you say with what you do and you absolutely do that and i appreciate you for your advocacy and your just your passion i was speaking to another friend and and, and i'll end with this and and we were talking about what can be done what do people need to do and you know people need to start and i said to her you know what i think that people should do what they are good at and find a way to use that to be to be a part of the uh solution and one thing I know about you is that you have been consistent with speaking out about, you know, uh, custody matters and, and um, things that impact the, the, the family, you know, black families, white families, being an advocate, being a mediator, you know, putting your story out there and all the things that you, you know, when we first met and you shared your story, I was like, good Lord, I thought my stuff was <laughs> So being vulnerable, and yes. being able to share so that someone else, your testimony, my testimony is absolutely the thing that can help someone else. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Well, hopefully we can have another um, talk like for this. For sure. Yeah. You know, maybe even sure. put, put together a, um, a panel. That would be really great yeah. to get a panel uh, discussion around. And I'll moderate because if not, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> there you go. All right, my friend. Be All well. Right. Thanks. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.